Here we have a function that involves logarithms right here, and we want to find the derivative of y with respect to x. And notice that y and x are given in terms of each other uh, implicitly here, not explicitly y in terms of x. So if y is a function of x, then whenever we say find y prime or f prime of x, we always mean dy dx, the derivative of the dependent variable with respect to the independent variable, unless we have other information. So when we see this y prime we, here, we mean the derivative of y with respect to x. So I'm going to use um, implicit differentiation. I'm just going to differentiate left to right. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to look at this and say, well, that's going to be the product rule because I have 3x to the fourth, that function, times this function, y squared. So I'm going to start with the first, 3x to the fourth, times the derivative of the second. So when I differentiate y squared with respect to x, I get this, 2y times y prime plus the second, y squared, times the derivative of the first, when I differentiate 3x to the fourth with respect to x, I get 12x to the third. Plus, okay, so I had the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first for this first expression here, which I look at as the product of two functions. Now I have a logarithm to differentiate, so I'm going to differentiate according to the chain rule. So I have 1 over xy squared times the derivative of xy squared. And again, that looks like the product rule. So I have one function times another function. So it's the first x times the derivative of the second, 2y times y prime, plus the second y squared times the derivative of the first. Well, when I differentiate x with respect to x, I get 1 equals, OK, the derivative of 6 with respect to x is 0. So that's my derivative right there when I differentiate implicitly just going left to right. So I run across the product rule, I run across the chain rule, and then I also run across the rule for differentiating a natural logarithm. Now the rest is all simplification, so let's see what we can do. Here I have 3x to the fourth, 2y times y prime, so let's say that's 6x to the fourth y times y prime plus 12x to the third y squared, 12x to the third y squared, plus, now I'm going to multiply 1 over xy squared times x times 2y times y to the times y prime. So the x's will divide out, one of those y's will divide out, and so I'll have 2 over y times y prime, plus 1 over xy squared times, uh, whoops, times y squared, so the y squareds will divide out, so I'll have just 1 over x, and then that will be equal to 0. So now I start by simplification, it looks like this. Okay, it looks like I have a fraction here. Let's multiply both sides of this by xy, so that I can get rid of the fractions when I simplify. So xy times 6x to the fourth y, 6x to the fifth y squared times y prime. xy times this will be 12x to the fourth y cubed plus xy times this, the y's will divide out, and I'll have 2xy two, two prime. And then plus xy times this last one, the x's will divide out, and I'll just have y is equal to 0 times xy is still 0. I'll collect the terms with the y prime in them and factor the y prime out, so I'm going to have 6x to the fifth y squared plus 2x all times y prime is equal to, I'll put these two expressions on the other side, minus 12x to the fourth y cubed plus y, divide both sides by this, and I get y prime is equal to 12x to the fourth y cubed plus y, all divided by 6x to the fifth y squared plus 2x, and then maybe I could simplify each of these a little bit more if I wanted to, whoops, I forgot my negative sign, minus all that. 
Maybe I could simplify the numerator and denominator a little bit more, but I'm not going to do that. This is good enough for right here. So where's the calculus in this problem? At this step right here, when you find the derivative. After that, everything is algebra, just trying to get it in a form that we want to look at, which is y prime equals something. And don't forget, that's a negative sign right there in front of that whole numerator. So there's a look at some implicit differentiation of uh, an expression of a uh, function that involves a natural logarithm, the chain rule, and the product rule.